Hello and welcome to Translation in Excel. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna look at three Excel functions that help us with translations, languages, and units of measure. And these functions are translate, detect language, and convert. Exercise one. In this exercise, we're gonna look at the translate function. Here we have some form fields and we've written them in English, but we'd like to translate these into some other language. So we can go equals, translate and here we give the text that we want to translate comma the source language which in this case is english so i'm going to go with en and then the target language which in this case is es for spanish close function and enter <laughs> there we got it now we can go ahead and fill this down and looks like we got it now as a note this translate function is extremely new and it has limited release right now so depending on when you're watching this video your excel may or may not have this translate function now let's do another language equals translate we want to translate this comma from the source language which is english to a destination language let's go with french close function and enter and now we can just fill that formula down. So far so good? Awesome. Let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. All right, now let's see if Excel can detect the language. For this, we'll use the detect language function equals detect language. And we point it to the text value, close function and enter. And this gives us the code ES. I can copy that formula and paste and paste. And now we've got it. And what's cool is we can actually use detect language along with the translate function. For example, equals translate. Now I want to translate the text in cell C6, comma, from which language? I don't know, let's have Excel detect it. Detect language of C6, close function. And whatever language that's in, we want to translate it to English. Close function and enter, okay. Now we can actually copy that same formula and paste and paste. And the other thing that can come in handy when translating is units of measure conversion. So let's take a look at that next. Exercise three. Let's say I wanna convert three inches into millimeters. What I can do is use the convert function. And I can say, I wanna convert this number from units, and there's a bunch of units of measure here available, so you wanna check those out. But here I wanna convert it from inches two millimeters close function and enter and actually i can do this for the whole range so i'll just fill this down so these are three very useful excel functions that help us when we're doing translation translate detect language and convert and these help us when we're translating languages and units of measure hopefully this is helpful thanks for joining me have a great day hey excel user if you ever need to create summary reports check out my pivot table for beginners video it starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report i hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables this video is a production of excel university 